Hi, I'm Stefan, and I would like to share some work done here at Monolith AI together with our friends from Iowa State University. We present the use of concept activation vectors for the purposes of explainability and 3D design generation using deep learning. We start with a little motivation. From a 3D design point of view, the parametric generation of shapes through CAD software is a powerful tool, yet it is limited when it comes to generating novel designs outside of the parameter space. And this is especially true if we want to change the design style since we cannot easily represent high-level style concepts in a parametric form. As we have demonstrated at Monolith, deep learning models such as autoencoders are adept design manipulators and can obtain a rich parameterization space that can encode an entire dataset of designs. However, this enhanced parameterization ability comes at the expense of interpretability and control. Manipulating the latent space directly can lead to unpredictable results, and there is no canonical latent space representation, meaning that training a new model might scramble any previous relationships between the latent space and final design. In this work, we aim to show that by using recent explainability techniques, we can take advantage of the representative power of deep networks while maintaining a consistent degree of interpretability and control. In this slide, we outline the framework used in the paper. All the presented results revolve around an autoencoder trained to reproduce 3D point clouds derived from various car shapes, with the aim of obtaining a latent space that is capable of parametrically encoding each design. We also train a downstream model on the latent space to predict the drag coefficient for each car. By doing this, we can leverage the TCAF framework to test how the different concepts impact the drag coefficient across the entire dataset. Finally, by selecting samples from the validation set that share a common high-level concept, for example sports cars, we can train a linear classifier to separate the encoded samples from other collections that are either random or represent a different concept. So the classifier learns a maximally separating hyperplane in the latent space, and the cab is defined as the normal to this hyperplane. And this vector represents the concept direction in the latent space. We collected a few examples of sport and sedan cars to represent our concepts. We also wanted to see if we could use out-of-distribution synthetic shapes as a way of representing abstract concepts, such as more cubic or streamlined cars. We then use these collections in various combinations to train multiple calves. Once we have the calves, we can calculate the sensitivity of the drag coefficient with respect to a concept via directional derivative. And by considering the sign or the magnitude of the sensitivity for each shape, we can get a measure of how the presence of a concept affects the downstream model as a whole. In this way, we can use our intuition to determine if the model has properly understood the dataset or if the calves are of good quality. Perhaps the most exciting application for 3D design is the ability to blend different concepts. We either subtract or add calves to the embedding of the original shape and decode the result to obtain a new shape. In this slide, we see the effect of combining concepts to varying degrees. In the middle of the right panel, we have the original car, and the surrounding shapes demonstrate the effect of moving the latent vector towards either end of a, of a particular cab. In the left panel, we see a prototype design tool that would allow the user fine control over manipulating the original car with different concepts. And we can see that calves do indeed correspond to different design styles, and that the latent space is rich enough to encode stylistic variations of the original design. We also highlight that calves can be used to query a database of 3D designs. The designs would have to be encoded first, then by comparing it to the calf, the most or least similar designs to the concept can be returned. Finally, we explore the ability to produce parametric calves because it is still important for engineers to be able to recover the numeric design parameters in the latent space. For a particular parameter, we can use examples that have high values and others that have low values to define a high-low parametric concept. We use this idea to control the height of a deformation applied to a data set of random ellipsoids. In the panel, we can see the original shape in the middle and the result of using the calf to either side. Thank you for your attention, and if you are interested in this work, please scan the QR code to access the paper for more details.